Okay, we're demoing the um, Bob Pid down here, running the uh, Siren um, DC motor driver here. This is the 25 amp unit. It's uh, about 80 bucks on uh, Amazon. Um, seems like a pretty good quality driver. Has good reviews. Um, just wanted to, you know, show that it, you know, standard uh, off-the-shelf drivers are compatible. Um, the trick to getting this working is this mode switch uh, right here. There is a um, there's a quick start sheet that comes with the siren that that shows some of the modes that it's capable of working in. And um, for some reason, they don't list the mode that we actually need. Uh, the modes that they do list is a, there's an analog mode where two and a half volts is the center point, and anything above that, the motor will turn forward and anything below that motor will turn backwards. But what we need, of course, is um, a single line that goes from zero to five volts that determines the motor speed, and then a second line which determines the motor direction. Um, and that mode is only documented in the manual. It's called um, analog, it's option three, analog one direction with forward reverse select on S2. And you set the mode switches here to uh, one, two, three, on, four, five, off, and then six, on. Um, and then at that point, we hook our, our PWM output, which is this blue wire here. I just have this kind of um, temporarily connected to our motor driver socket. So that's the, the blue wire is going into S1, that's the PWM, and then the direction is going into S2 here on their terminal block. And then we have, um, our, uh, our ground wire, which is the black. Ground is, of course, very important. They have it marked as zero V on their connector, or zero volts, but it's basically just the ground wire. And then um, they're actually providing plus five, which is kind of nice um, on this pin, so we can run it even without the USB adapter. Um, so this is the this is the USB uh, TTL to USB adapter that uh, allows me to talk to this chip and do all of the PID tuning and, you know, change the way that the thing is moving. Um, so the, the motion controller in this case is our standard uh, Arduino Mega on the bottom there with the ramps board and then our, our Palulu adapter cable. So this was designed for the Palulu or Palulu stepper motor drivers, which are these these tiny little guys right here that drive, you know, like half a watt or something. So this adapter cable then allows us to hook up to um, the bob pit or to one of our stepper drivers, either way. Um, and then we're getting um, the motor control coming out. And of course, the um, encoder right here uh, is coming in, uh, recording the position of the motor. So. This guy says, I want you to be at a certain place. This guy says, you're actually at this other place. This guy computes how much drive to send to this guy to get it to move to that location. And then this guy actually powers the motor here to, um, to turn the motor in that direction until it comes to that place. And the reason why the motor's moving is just because I'm, I'm running a, a, a 3D print job. Uh, which is sending G-code to the Arduino, which is then converting it into the, you know, the position request step direction. So that's the overall thing working. Just wanted to show you that it's working with this one. This should also work just fine with the Siren 50 amp um, driver, which is like 120 bucks, I think. Um, but that'll basically, this one basically is uh, around one horsepower. Um, and then the, um, the Siren 50 is actually just a little over one horsepower, and then the Siren 50 is just a little over two horsepower. So they're they're pretty solid drivers. Um, I have I've disconnected our little driver here, which will be available very soon. Um, ours is just under one horsepower, 0.96 horsepower maximum, uh, and that of course is when it has a nice heatsink attached, which I don't have on this little guy here because I'm not running him at full power. That's just for demo purposes. That keeps me from having to, uh, you know, really clamp this down. Um, and the only reason why the siren driver isn't walking this thing off the desk is because um, it's only getting 12 volts um, in here. I'm not, I'm not giving it anywhere near the, 
the full power that it can actually handle. Uh, I have tested it at the full power, it's just I have to physically hold the motor down to keep it from going places. So you can do really big motors uh, with the Bobpid and the motor driver of your choice and the motion controller of your choice and it just works. Thanks for watching.